Hello, what is up guys? Check KJ here. Today I will teach you how to create a dedicated server on Counter Strike 1.6. Now what are the uses of dedicated server? On dedicated server you can play with your friends. No one will interrupt until and unless you give them your IP address. You can also play with your family. Now let's start how to create a dedicated server on Counter Strike 1.6. All you need is uh, obviously Counter Strike and HLDS software half-life dedicated server software you will find this on you can search it on google you will find it now before clicking on this let me show you first the interface of this first you have to select counter strike over here this this will be auto filled and the map you can choose any one of the map then network keep it as internet max player your wish and in udp port you have to type 27015 and R R C O N password 123 now don't start the server before you starting the server you have to do some settings on your router now my router IP is 192.168.1.1 this is my router IP now many other routers have different IP like some routers have 192.168.0.1 now how to know, to know the IP mm, just check check the back side of the router uh, there they will be the company has written the IP you can check from there and type it over the browser now I'll press enter now when you enter the IP of router it will ask username and password now my username is admin and my password is custom password usually the username is also admin and password is also password now how to check what's your username and password just check the back of the router everything will be provided the credentials are pasted over there now let me click on login now now what you have to do is create a virtual server now for this router i have to go to the advanced then go to n80 now i will find a virtual server over here now many other routers have different user interface now it's up to you how to search that uh, where to create the virtual server the method is, uh, method is same but all you have to do is search the virtual server in my router it is under virtual uh, it is under advanced and NAT now I click on virtual server now I have already created one to test let me delete it I will create it again now click user defined service name now type anything you want I will type CS now protocol use UDP and WAN setting will be same and WAN interface will be also same WAN port will be will be changed to 27015 semicolon 27015 and LAN open port will be also same just copy paste it now this will be your computer IP address remember this will be your computer's network's IP address now how to check this computer's network IP address just click the arrow over here no no click on the network connection you are using click on open network and sharing center then go to whichever connection you are connected then go to details now here you will find the IP IPv4 address of your device just copy this address 192.168.15 now head over here your browser and click on 192.168.15 192.168.15 let me check again what are what is the address details 192.168.1.15 sorry i have written it wrong 1.15 uh, now this is the correct I, lan ip address remember this will nearly change after two to three days uh, that is you have to recreate this server when you again play the game now i will click on apply changes as you can see the virtual server i have created has been created now let me tell you these ch changes of every i can say this changes every one to two day you can you must check before creating a virtual server last time it was 1.1 and then i have seen it becoming 1.14 now today it is 1.15 so every time you create the server just 
remember to change the lan ip address just delete this and create again the virtual server now router part is done now you have to start the server now dedicated server has been created now how to connect to this game you and your friends how to tell your friends to connect to this game let me show you just go to google then type now virtual server is created then type ip address now this is your public ip this this ip you should give to your friends let me show you how it works just copy this ip address and paste it this is your friends id let me write it over here now this is your friends ip address to connect let, let me complete it 27015 you remember we written it in the start so this you have to copy and extend it with 27015 remember the semicolon now how you can connect you the user user let me show you how you can connect the method of you connecting is this ip address 192.168.1.15 semicolon 27015 now uh, to configure the server here are the details you can edit it to change the map and to check who all are connected statistics is here you can also ban console is over here any settings if you want to do now give this ip address to your friends and how they will connect let me show you by going into the game let's head to the game now how your friends will connect just click on the command key or tilde key below the escape button this console window will open just press connect then if you you want to connect then you have to type 192.168.1.15 semicolon 27015 now you will ask how this how i found this address this is your connection address and if you your friends want to connect your friends have to type this address let me show you now i will press enter as you can see i have started connecting to the game let me cancel this connection now how your friends can connect uh, let me show you this address the your public ip address just copy this let me copy this and uh, now this is the ip address your friends will connect the reason i am not connecting is because i am the host i can only connect by this command the one i have provided the lan lan ip address Thank you for watching my video. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If it works for you, please hit the like button. And do share this with your friends because many people don't know they can create a dedicated server in their home and play with their friends. Play custom maps. Many maps are available on the Google. It's fun playing with your friends. Do subscribe me. If you want to watch more such kind of videos, do subscribe me. Thank you.